Sunday, March 30, 2014. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy. Sunday, March 30, 2014. This is Mercedes Diesel Guy, and this is my 1983 Mercedes 240 Diesel. I'm continuing with the body work I was doing yesterday. Uh, so far today, I actually have uh, finished the reinforcement welding on the rear jack point, and actually reinforced the rear of the uh, this portion of the fender lip here in anticipation of welding on the new um, sheet metal cover but I've got a little bit of weld through primer that actually has to cure so what I'm working on at the moment is the rear corner right here I have the uh, repair piece cut and uh, uh, coated in the weld through primer and what you see right here are some uh, butt welding clamps. So I've got this clamped in place and I can, uh, I'm just going to double check the fit on that. And uh, then I'm going to start welding it in place. Okay, so what you see here is this panel uh, really firmly in place now. And all I did was uh, a few minutes of tacking around the edge here. Still looks ugly, obviously, and the weld is not completed yet. But what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to hit this with my grinder to clean up the uh, what part of the weld that already exists. And then I'm going to continue filling in gaps. See, the three big gaps here are where the, uh, are where the clamps were. So, uh, this is actually... I mean, look at this. I'm, I'm pulling on this with all my force, and I'm not, I'm not breaking these welds. In fact, I'm shaking the whole car, and all I'm touching is the new panel. So that can show you um, how strong even these ugly welds can be. Uh, but as I said, I'm not done yet, so I'm going to continue on. And this here is my stopping point for the day. You can see I have uh, this section here welded on and I've uh, got some primer on it now. Definitely going to need a little bit of filler to smooth that out, but uh, not much. And like I said, I uh, grabbed the inner side of that and pulled on it, and uh, there was no hint of it coming off the car at all. In fact, I uh, shook the whole car by it. So, uh, that's on there and that's strong. And I've also got the front section done here. Uh, once again, it's definitely going to require a little bit of filler, but uh, not too much. And uh, basically, for my first time attempting to weld on uh, exterior panels, I'm actually pretty happy with this. Uh, like I said, I'm definitely going to be able to smooth this out a bit. I've got this stuff um, coated in some primer now. And although I'm basically calling it quits for the day, I'm going to come back out here in a little while and um, start seam sealing everything, but uh, for now I just need this primer to dry up a bit. So all in all, not too bad. I mean, you can definitely see the uh, the weld seams, but that stuff's on there and it's on there strong, so uh, like I said, I'm, I'm pretty happy with the results, and uh, I'm going to get some seam sealer and eventually some filler on that and that is the rear uh, wheel well lip rebuilt on the or at least repaired on the passenger side of the car so uh, next time I'm out here and I'm working I'm actually going to finish off closing up the uh, the lip there inside the trunk because there's still some holes there in the trunk and I've got to rejoin the inside of that panel to the trunk floor and once that's done I have to pull this wheel off and uh, just weld up a tiny rust hole there inside the wheel well but car is coming along so this is Mercedes diesel guy thanks for watching